Welcome, folks, to your weekly episode of The Beer Show. Like always, I am your host, Frédéric Bouchard, and today I am drinking an Oktoberfest beer. Uh, it is the the one done by Boreal, which is actually, like, it's funny. It is actually brewed by Brasseur du Nord, which is the real name of the company. But then all their beer that they made, they made about 20 over the last years. They're all called Boreal something. Boreal Blonde, Boreal Rousse, Boreal Oktoberfest, Boreal Brassin Special 25th, 25 years, etc. So uh, the real name of the brewery is Brassard du Nord. So uh, that being said, guys, just before, it is the month of the October, so it's kind of the month of the beer, and I will be doing a little bit more reviews. I will try to concentrate up October best beers if I can find some So that's the first one. I was able to put my hand on the others. I saw them But they are only uh, available on six packs and then 12 packs uh, No, it's true. There's one that I tasted and during a tasting and I was like ah, no. The one from Saint Alboise it was not interested at all uh, however, the one from Rickards seems really interesting, and the ones from Creesman Hill, I think, and then, anyway, I'm trying to get my hands on, like always, in individual format, you know, this is what I like to do, I prefer to buy uh, individual, first off, if I don't like it, then it's only one beer, instead of I'm stuck with it. 12 pack so that being said uh boreal oktoberfest served in a 341 milliliter bottle uh it is 5.5 percent alcohol by volume and like pretty obvious this is a seasonal beer a beer that is brewed for the oktoberfest events of october so uh Besides that, um, not much. It's a nice little uh, label, I would say. So let's go for that nice little pour. It is not a beer that was going to foam a lot. Well, let's go for a little rotation. So this is why I kind of, I did a hangry pour. Now that's a that's sort of a, um, something that's going on on the web people like pouring their beer as hard as possible but without hit going overboard so anyway uh, you have a nice uh, let's put it on the white no wait sorry on the white you have a nice golden sort of dark with a hint of orange color uh, light carbonation still going on you have medium sized bubbles and you do have a nice little head in there You have a nice dark roasted uh, smell to it. There's a hint of yeast, but like rough yeast, you know, not sort of like yogurt smell, like a commercial rough yeast. Fruitiness also in there. Mm, sort of like grapes or something like that. It's interesting. It's interesting. Not that much on the first taste, I'll be honest with you guys. Get an aftertaste of uh, <clears throat> roasted barley in the mouth. Tiny little bit of sweetness, all in the aftertaste. Something. But honestly, first taste, I don't get nothing. I will be honest, kind of blend. <clears throat> it's a subtile beer, right? it's really light. Not much. 
Yeah. Well, it's not that crazy. But hey, it's good. That that brewery has just been bought out by the government. Let's say by the government. Uh, but it's sort of a faction that is owned by the government. So it's a private company owned by the government. It's the Fond FTQ. So basically, uh, they they it's like a big government pot where people invest their money in there and then they place their money in companies with um, uh, financial uh, like they give out money to some company they bought out some companies and stuff like that and since they did that that company has been on a boom so they released two new beers on the market and they are uh, gonna release about four or five new beers in a year to come so it's been a good kick in the butt for the company because this is one of the founding breweries here in Quebec they were the first one to brew the uh, red ale beer which was like really something new in Quebec about 25 years ago if I'm not mistaken so that's really good for that company and uh, yeah it's an interesting product but it's not like I would have liked that that smell could have gone through my mouth like I, it, it, it's bland taste wise There's something, I can't put it in words. Earlier I had it, I had the word that I wanted to use. Can't remember, it happens when you drink beer. <laughs> no, so on that, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Uh, it's a nice product and uh, yeah guys, make sure to tune in uh, later in the month to uh, find out about the new October best uh, beer that are gonna be released. Internationally, like, uh, doesn't matter as long as I get my hand on it, like common commercial beers even, if there's no problem. And also new Quebec product that are going to be released. Not, nothing to do with Oktoberfest product, but interesting new product. There's a, there's a beer from Farnham, there's one from Frampton Brass, uh, stuff like that that are been... Oh, it's true, my parents brought me a beer from France when they traveled and uh, this I'm gonna have to taste uh, should I do it in October yeah probably we'll see so anyway October October is gonna be a busy week for my beer show so make sure to tune in and for that you can subscribe that's the best thing you can do uh, if not when you can always like the videos thumbs up and uh, if not you can always comment uh, give your opinion on a beer or you have a question or whatnot or are you just angry <laughs> No, if you're angry, just don't comment, you know, go go do something else. So thank you for tuning in, guys, and uh, yeah, have a nice week. Take care, bye.